How's it going guys? Sam from Mendek Outdoors here. Uh, we're going to be going walleye fishing with the Guggen baits. You guys can see earlier I got three packets. I got the Crack and Crawl, Drag and Drop, and the Slim Shake. Today's video is sponsored by Fishbrain. Fishbrain is one of the world's most popular fishing apps actually. It's a great app to use. The spot that we're fishing today, I actually found it using Fishbrain. Fishbrain is a unique app. You get to connect with a whole bunch of anglers around your area. You get to post pictures of your fish catches. Uh, it's basically like Instagram but just for fishing. Alright guys, we're on my phone right now. Let's go to the Fishbrain app. That guy's catching some saltwater fish. This is a little large mouth. It's pretty cool. Buddy's slaying them. Uh, you can like posts just like that, just like Instagram. You can comment, uh, stuff like that. Nice catch. So that's pretty cool. Um, we, so I do have a profile actually. Uh, it's Mendak Outdoors, as you guys can tell. I've posted a few times. And if you go to maps here, it shows you your exact location. If you click on those little points like that, it shows you what people have been catching, like walleye, what they're using, so that's pretty cool. It tells you the time of year they caught them, what they're using, how they caught them, and stuff like that. Now, say if you guys want to post a picture, so add a post or something, uh, you go here, uh, let's scroll down, let's find a dope picture to post. So it also detects fish, and it's a common carp, and that is very correct. And uh, we actually did not catch that over here. We caught that way over down here, and uh, we caught it right there. Um, hit done, posted it, boom. You can add the locations. I already added the location and stuff. But you can show like what you caught it on and stuff, which is pretty cool. If you guys have fish brain, make sure you guys follow Mendek Outdoors and follow me. Travel along and fish different spots. So I'll be posting on it quite a bit. Hope to connect with you guys. We'll leave fish brain link down below in the description. So make sure you guys definitely check them out. It's a great app to use to find different bodies of water, see what the fish are biting on. So I'd definitely check it out. We're gonna go strap on the waders, get fishing, and I'll see you guys out on the water. Oh yeah, also before we do get on the water, I just want to say a little disclaimer. It is pretty windy, but the wind is supposed to die down, so I'm sorry if the audio is kind of buns. Well, uh, don't pull my rookie move. I was using minnows last time I went fishing, and uh, I accidentally left some minnows in my wader pouch. Don't ask me why I put minnows in my wader's pouch. I don't know why that was a stupid move. And anyway, I forgot them in there, and it's been like four days since I've been out fishing, and the last couple days it's been like 80 degrees, and it, my waders just smell like complete buns. Oh, I know you guys can't smell that. You guys probably can't see that, but there are, there are some minnows in there and yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want to puke but anyway we're gonna get out there and uh, see you guys out there. I want to make sure before you go out fishing check your line because this line is pretty shot and pretty freighted. Go up a couple inches where it's not freighted. It's a lot better to retie than losing a fish that's for sure. On, stop. So guys I'm tying up. Hey I'm hooked up with the fish. Let's go check it out. Ah! Boy juice is flying away. Buddy loses a fish but we do have these tasty looking dragon drops. Anyway guys, I forgot to bring any like bass tackle or anything like you would. You'd usually put this on like a shaky head. But anyway, we're just gonna be using this Moon Knight jig. So we're just gonna thread her on there. Yeah, that's all we're gonna do. And uh, we're just gonna hop her off the bottom and see if we can't get one. So I'm not gonna do anything special with it. It's gonna jig this off the bottom. Spot number one, no bueno, too windy. Peyton and I are gonna go on the move. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm fishing with Peyton. You guys have seen him quite a bit. We made it here to the second spot. It's pretty nice here. There's very little wind. Do a couple casts if it doesn't go well. We might make the switch over to the other spot. Still got the dragon drop tied on. We can give her a few dangles and uh, see if we can't catch us a fish. Water is pretty freaking clear. Cheese and rice, it looks pretty juicy, honestly. Oh yeah, I'm feeling this. Bro, what was that strat? You're scaring the fish. Okay. There are no fish here to be caught. So guys, this is fishing with two knuckleheads. You want to cast over each other's lines so you get tangled like this. Yeah, yeah. it's going on video too. What'd you just cast? <laughs> you just crossed me again. Well, that was a botch. Spot number two is no bueno. We're going to go to spot number trace but i do think we did get out here just a little bit early <laughs> quite a bit early fish don't start biting usually till like 8 30 ish but we got out here at what 6 30. all right guys we're at spot number trace hopefully this will be the juice um anyway it is 7 40 so we're gonna get out there get the waders on the chach and i made it out to the lake here this is pretty freaking clear like really clear which is kind of surprising um but anyway we got the little drag and drop yeah it's 11 o'clock Oh, dude, I legit had one. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> I legit had one, dude. What the heck? Guys, I'm just going to downgrade it here. I'm just going to take my teeth and bite a little piece off. Blech. That is salty. Mm. Yummy. So, here we go. Um, I'm just going to take her, thread her up like we did last time. Boom, there we go. 
we just made it a little bit smaller it's still decently sized for walleye but you know what i think it'll do the trick i just had a bite and i think it just had the tail so hopefully that's the heat there's one silver i don't know dude it might be a pike where's it's decent Oh, it's a greasy old pike, dude. <laughs> Jeez, nice. He munched the Guggen baits, boys. Look at that. On the freaking Guggen baits. No way on the drag and drop. Here we go. Little snot rocket. Not bad. Not bad. We'll get him back in the water. Um, I was just jigging that. Oh, freaking A, dude. Chill. God dang. So once you guys do a hook a pike, you want to make sure your line isn't freighted or anything. They do, they do have sharp teeth. So it looks pretty good still. Uh, Dragon drops a little beat up, but you know what? I think that's fine. Here you go. Mm, no <laughs> oh, shoot. Wait, is that you? <laughs> you mother ducker. Why would you do that to me? I hate you so much. What was this, our third time or second time? God, I hate you, dude. I was like, oh, that's a fish. And then I set the hook and there's nothing there. I was like, no. And then I felt something again. I was like, wait, what? You had to do me dirty like that. It had to have been a rock bend. There's one. That, dude. It's small. I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh, now it's kind of feeling big, dude. On the dragon drop? Oh, no way. Oh, I thought it was a crappie. Is it a no, it's a smallmouth. Oh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Chill, 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 chill. That, y'all. Look at that. I thought it was a... Dude, why can't I catch a walleye? I'm hitting everything but a walleye. How did I hook him, dude? That's tiny. On the dragon trap, boys. Look at that. Just a little, little baby bird. We got Peyton in the background looking like a normal chotch. But uh, let's get a release on this fish. Hook's still sharp. Knot looks better than ever. Line looks good. Dragon drop is ready to rip back out there. But anyway, I was not expecting to catch a smallmouth at this spot. I was expecting to catch one at the other spots, but not this one. I set the hook and I was like, ooh, Walter. But nope, uh, it was a smallmouth. Still fun catch though. It looked white in the water when I first saw it. I was like, ooh, crappy. That's yeah, tough. On the drag and drop, boys. I, th I think this is a Walter. It's not fighting, just kind of dragging in. I watched that bite. I oh, yeah, it's a walleye. Hey, she's skiing. She's skiing. Ski. Ow, ow, chill, 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 chill. Ah, oh, boys, look at that. On the freaking drag and drop. The Guggen baits work for walleye. He, look at that. He chomped it. Perfectly hooked out look at that little walleye we're gonna go take some pictures with this guy and uh we'll be back with you little fish we're gonna let him back in the water do this buddy there he goes look at him we can just follow him off oh 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 get at him guys he's just booing i don't know if you guys can see but he's just teaching all right so that's pretty cool i caught a freaking walleye on the guggen base um so far the guggen base is kicking painting his butt right now uh, three fish to zero. Let's get back out there and see if I can't catch another. Here, back up a little bit. Oh, dude, that's, that's a tank. Give me that. That's a tank. Get a picture, dude. Oh, yeah, we'll get like a picture. Yeah, the big camera. Dude. Dude, we were just talking about how we never catch big smallies. That's a solid one. Two, three. Eight. Bigger than that, four. Three and a half, four. Dude, he's fat. Yeah. You kidding me? So guys, Peyton hooked up with his tanker. Look at that. He is thick and fat. Good looking fish. We just took some pics of him and uh, we're gonna go get a release, but he's gotta get one for the snaps, of course. There she goes. What do you think? Probably one of the biggest smalls ever caught. I don't know. So Peyton just hooked up with that decent smallmouth. Uh, he's using live bait now. I'm still rocking with uh, dragon drop, so let's get back out there and see if we can't catch another one. No, he has to have one. You know when that happens, you jig up and you're like going like this, you know? Yeah. And you're going back down, you just see your line go tiny, you set the hook and there's nothing there, you're just like, nice. Yeah. Well, 
Oh yeah, this is a little guy. Here's one. Double bump. For double baby. Mine might be a wall, I think. Oh yeah, he's... Look at this guy, he's skiing. Inhaled the Guggen bait. Absolutely inhaled it. But, anyway, me and Peyton doubled up. Look at that. Numero Fish Uno can go. Peyton's got a decent little guy. Let's see her. Oh yeah, bro. Oh, oh, there she goes. Hey. Boom, baby. Let's go. But guys, all in the freaking Guggen baits. Let's go. This is the end of the Guggen bot. This thing is pretty torn up. But the dragon drop did some work for me today. Not going to lie. Um, I'm just going to come over here to Peyton's little uh, minnow bucket. Shout out to Big Chungus for this. Thanks, Jesse. Jesse, if you're watching this vid, thank you. Appreciate it. We're just going to be using that same moon eye jig. Taking the fat minnow, hooking it under the chin just like that. Take off the body. Just the head, boys. That's tough, mate. Here's one. On the job, dude. He's kind of staying down, but now he's giving me some head shakes. On the middle head, baby. Get it. Oh, yeah. Did you see me come and grab another middle from you? Yeah, you're right. Dude, it's staying down. Boom. Boys, boys, do you see that? Do you see what I'm seeing? Is that is that a, is that a decent wallet that came on the minnow head? On the freaking minnow head? What? Let's go. Come over and grab another minnow. Dad, I was just using the minnow head. Um, a lot of people might call me weird for it, but you know what? It it works. I just got that nice walleye on it. Biggest one we've caught today. It's on that purple moon eye jig. The reason I put on the minnow head is because paint was getting a lot of bites earlier and they're coming off. So I was thinking maybe they were just nipping the tail off. And uh, sure enough, downsizing is a key. Slow reeling that in. Let me get hidden from the wind a little bit. Today wasn't bad. We caught those two walleyes on the Guggen baits, which was planned. It went as well as we wanted to go. If you guys liked today's video, make sure you guys hit it with a thumbs up. And uh, don't forget to comment down below which Guggen bait is your favorite. Uh, mine is probably the Kraken Crawl or the Dragon Drop. Subscribe and uh, we'll see you guys on the next one.